Then uh, another question here, explain how you expanded your usage of the DREAL from <coughs> one application to others. And did you experience a secondary learning curve when you looked at some of these new applications? Yes, a little bit. Uh, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I would do five or six cases and just get familiar with it in your hand, get familiar with the irrigation, get familiar with palpating that foramina uh, pre and, and post uh, uh, decompression, and just get familiar and, and make sure you're comfortable with your anatomy. And then after that in the lumbar spine, then you might want to take on an osteophyte coming off of an implate that's under a nerve root way out, you know, laterally or in, or in the uh, foramina. Um, and, and then I would recommend doing a simple ACDF uh, uh, before you start trying to uh, uh, really expand uh, the usage of the drill. You just need to get familiar with it. You need to, to get familiar with the different uh, uh, speeds. Sometimes I come on the pedal and I'm not going at four RPM. And, and, I, and, and I just want to say, this little dog will eat. It is impressive how something so small will just uh, eat up the bone. It's it's better than anything that I've seen uh, arthroscopically, and it it really impressed me. The high speed this thing will will cut bone, and so and it does it best at high RPMs. And so it took me a little while. I think when I first started using it, I kind of would go halfway down on the pedal and do it at lower speeds. But uh, once I got comfortable, uh, you know, the higher RPM is eats more bone and you spend less time going in and out of the foramina. So th there's, there's a learning curve, but do the simple cases first. And uh, once you get comfortable, then start expanding your indications.